What a beautiful day here in Sandestin. Uh, I've spent the day watching baseball. I hope you've done something more constructive than that. Although I have worked a little bit on a sermon for Sunday, and I want to tell you we're going to talk about the virtue love, which really is, uh, as the Bible puts it, it is the best gift. It is the best virtue. Uh, when I talk to you on Sunday, I might remind you of these things, that all of the other virtues really do not mean anything without love. Uh, as Paul put it in 1 Corinthians 13, uh, there is nothing of any value without love. In fact, 1 Corinthians 13 is a Bible passage I would have you to read for Sunday morning. Uh, you might also read in 1 John uh, chapter 3 verse 1, which defines also that love is at the center of everything that is about God. That means it's everything about our universe, about our world, about what we strive for. Love is all. Uh, I might remind you on Sunday to remember the other virtues that there's wisdom, and wisdom is a great thing to know, to know how the world works, to have knowledge. But without love, wisdom is pompous, and it's clever, and it's self-regarding. Uh, it was Paul Tillich that said, uh, learn to distrust any claim for truth or wisdom that is not united with love. Also, courage is valuable as an enormous virtue for us at any time. But without love, it's just being rash or brash, or it just means we are being brave for a selfish cause or for ourself. Courage without love is not what God intends. Also, temperance, balance in our life without love can become sort of a judgmentalism or being a Puritan or being obsessed uh, about how we do things without a love of God and neighbor. Balance is good, but it requires love to be of God. Faith is a wonderful thing, but without love, faith can be dogmatic. It can kind of be a one-upman sort of thing that I am better than you because of my belief. Faith can cast stones at people who don't believe without love. Faith can be nagging and scolding, but with love it is not. And hope, hope will adopt any means to achieve its ends without love. Without love, hope becomes, like we talked about Sunday, wishful thinking. And it's easy for hope to become burned out without love. What's the point? In what we believe. So love is the virtue that is at the center of all other virtues if we are to be like Christ. And if we're trying to understand this world and peel it back to its most important center, what is the one thing, the main thing in this universe? It's love. So come on Sunday and let's talk about it. Uh, I hope you're staying healthy and safe during this week. Uh, I hope that we will see you on Sunday if this is good for you. I really appreciate the preparations that people are making for us to be there safely. And know that of all the things you could think about this week to be more like Christ, think about love and practice it with one another. You take care, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday if possible. And faithfully, we'll be sending out these messages virtually as well. Bye-bye.